echo of an echo is the semblance of a sound and i've pressed and i've waited with my ear upon the ground oh lover i'll see you there waiting in the willows with your autumn hair oh lover i'll see you there after many miles Especially these last few years, we have seen so many people wanting to move to this community. People who grew up here and left, they want to come back. People who have just heard that Bangor is a cool place to live. I was born and raised in Bangor. I love it here. I love the small community. Almost everyone that comes in the door, I have a relationship with. I know their name. I know what they're looking for. It's a nice little community. Main life. Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, President and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank and proud presenting sponsor of Maine Life, a show that's dedicated to telling positive stories about life right here in Maine. Community has always been at the center of my Maine life. Support and involvement in our communities are critical to Maine's success. I'm so fortunate to lead an organization that believes in giving back over $1.1 million each year to the communities that we serve. It's the best part of my job. If you need help with your financial needs, or if this is your year to change your banking relationship, our staff stand ready to assist you. So click or call Kennebec Savings Bank today. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Main Life. Thanks for watching. Welcome, Welcome to Bangor! Hey everybody and welcome to this episode of Maine Life. We are excited to be back here in Bangor. There is so much going on from waterfront concerts when it's a little warmer out, sporting events, performing arts, local businesses. So much to do and see here. It's a great town. My parents actually uh, were born here and I was born here in Bangor. And we do a lot of business, our bank does, here in Bangor. And it's just a great place. We used to summer uh, here uh, in Lucerne Lake. And every time we came to Bangor, we would stop and see Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan, yes, you have a cute little picture uh, we I might do. have to show. All right. <laughs> uh, and, and I married a man from Bangor, so there you go. We've got a lot to see and do here. We're excited to show you. And why don't we go and get caffeinated and meet up with our chamber friends? Let's do it. Well, hello, and welcome to Wicked Brew Cafe. My name's Carrie, I'm one of the owners. I'm Mary Ann, her uh, mother in law and co owner. Thank you for coming in today. <laughs> Well, it started with a young lady who had a coffee bar here and Marianne baked for her yeah. and then she approached her when she was getting ready to sell this place and Marianne approached me and then we, we said to go with it and now we're here. It was, we, we used both of our talents to, I think, create a really wonderful and welcoming place for Bangor and uh, the, the people of Bangor, we have a uh, European style coffee and teas. Carrie has brought on a lot of fun things like our uh, London I, Fog and uh, we have uh, Chai Marsalis and Thai tea and boba. So we meet everyone's needs as far as drinks go. And then Carrie does our cooking in the kitchen and we make everything as much as we can. We try to use homemade uh, and uh, locally sourced products. Yep. We, uh, so we do a lot of baking and cooking in-house. We do all of our flavors in-house. We make them all from scratch. Uh, we have breakfast, lunch, and yummy, yummy baked goods. And we, we accommodate everybody. We try to do a little vegan, a little gluten-free, and just regular. You know, we love the older couples that come in and have their breakfast every Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it is fun to have regulars. We had a, a nice family come from out of state last year, and they said everyone in their family loved the place because they had something for everyone mm -hmm. <laughs> which was nice to hear so. so that's what we try to do and try to co contribute to the bangor community as much as we possibly can well i have a little platter out back for you guys i'm bringing in a my sourdough breakfast sandwich with bacon to try on it we do nice thick cut bacon from uh, a local farm we have a cranberry orange scone and I think we have a chocolate cardamom scone for you yeah and a blueberry scone and a blueberry muffin to try 
So this morning for breakfast, our VIP is Deb Newman, President and CEO of Bangor Region yeah. Chamber. Thank you for introducing us. Yeah, I'm a huge friend. fan of Chambers of Commerce. So. All right. Thanks, Thank Deb. you for having me. Thanks for introducing it's us to this awesome place. I mean, isn't this so cool? It's just so cool. And this is just one of many cool spots in Bangor that a lot of people know about or maybe few people know about. So I'm so excited to just show Bangor off and show places like this off to you today. So again, thank you for being here. It's interesting, um, especially these last few years, we have seen so many people wanting to move to this community. People who grew up here and left, they want to come back. People who have just heard that Bangor's a cool place to live, want to move here. We have sent out from the chamber so many relocation packets, I've lost count. It's really wow. exciting. And part of that is because it's just, it's a friendly community, it's a welcoming community. You will definitely experience that yourself. People are just happy to see you and have you here. And businesses support one another and the community supports businesses. If you are interested in doing an indoor activity, our next stop is at a new location, Smoke and Steel, where they have indoor axe throwing. Nice! <laughs> yes! So I did not tell you. Yes. We've been to a few fairs uh, competing yeah. against one another, so we'll see. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It's actually a pretty good axe thrower. Welcome, Aaron and everyone. My name is Holly Salt. I'm the general manager here at Smoke and Steel Barbecue and Axe Throwing. We are new to Bangor, six months old. We have a full restaurant, an amazing bar, and lots of uh, lanes for axe throwing and fun. We are locally owned. We have three owners, Greg Hawes, Jeff Solari, and Chris Jones, and they are all in, uh, businessmen in the area. We opened in July of 2021, and the, the response has been amazing. Uh, everybody's excited to see us, and we are very excited to see them. We have had guests from as far north as the Canadian border and as far south as Virginia. People have come seeking us out because we're very unique. And we offer live music every Friday and Saturday night and on Sunday brunch. We do pop-up music events throughout the week, um, but that is the big focus for us on the weekends to go along with our 10 uh, axe targets and our full menu and full bar. We have an amazing staff. We've actually retained about 80% of our opening staff and we have a large staff because of the size of this. Um, our head chef is Chris Kenny. He is a seasoned pit master and we are very lucky to have him. Our smokers run 24 hours a day. We offer um, a lot of different meats and there's really, they're amazing because they come off gluten free. You can season them with our four house made from scratch, his recipes, barbecue sauce, and they are absolutely amazing. My favorite would be the burn ins. I have lived in Maine for 15 years in Kittery and in, in Vinyl Haven and I'm new to Bangor about six months ago. So I'm from Nashville originally, it's a Nashville themed restaurant and it was just a great fit from bringing the south and meshing it with Bangor. The mural that's on the back wall is the replica of downtown Nashville and I can tell you every spot over there and it feels, every time I look over I feel like I'm back home. So our axe sewing is done one hour, um, you can also rent it for 30 minutes but when we cater to our parties then you can rent it out for two to three hours if you would like. You have designated servers and axe attendants to coach you. Not everybody comes in here being the seasoned axe thrower, but when you leave here, you can hit those targets. Aaron and Andrew, we're going to hand you off to Dan Shaw. He is our axe master, a great teacher and great guide, and I know you'll have a great time with him. Hello everyone, I'm Dan Shaw. I'm the axe master here at Smoke and Steel Barbecue and Axe Throwing. We're going to have a lot of fun today throwing yes. axes, but first we have to go over a few of the safety rules, okay? okay. Um, when you're throwing axes, you're going to stay within that box between the red and yellow lines. You're each going to throw one axe, then go down and get it and come back. There is no handing axes off back and forth to each other. And at all times, you need to throw with caution, okay? Anything you throw, there's a good chance it could come back. In. And how do you become an axe master? A lot of practice. Okay. <laughs> so you can show us how it's really done. I can show you how it's done. We've been to a few fairs, and so yeah. we've got this ongoing uh, competition going. Maybe you could give us a few tips before we start? I will give you a few tips. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> that was a smaller axe. I mean, what? <laughs> I did a really good job. It's really in there. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, you, you took 
technically probably won, but I Dan, thank you. Thank you, you thank did. You. I mean, I yeah, I didn't do as well as I did, but I admit I did okay. You did very well for yeah. the first time. You did. Thank you. Appreciate thank that. Till the next time. All right. The next fair we go to. Uh, all right. Some barbecue? Yes. Lunch Let's time. Go. Let's go. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> Special delivery. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Say hi, main life. We're gonna have some barbecue, all right. My name is Chris Kenny, and uh, I'm the head chef here. I've been barbecuing pretty much my whole life. Uh, I found the job um, through a mutual friend of one of the owners. He, he kind of seeked me out and said I, he thought that I would be a good fit here. Well, a pit master is the person who creates all the, the recipes and smokes the majority of the meat here. It's all day, every day, we're smoking meat fresh. I, I've trained the whole staff on how to, how to use the smoker. I've been using this, this, these smokers for the past 10 years. I love being able to put a piece of meat on the smoker, uh, take it off 18, 20 hours later, and really enjoy what I've created. Uh, you must come in and try our burnt ends. They're phenomenal. They're cooked for 18, 20 hours. Uh, our brisket is also phenomenal. We slice that thin, put it either on a plate or on a brisket melt with melted cheese, bacon, onion strings. We do a, we do a locally sourced steak selection every week. Uh, varies every single week. Our, our chefs back there are creating something new every single week for the, for the customers. Yes, we have a great local following. Uh, we have a mug club where, where our locals are here very regularly. Uh, we also have people traveling from hours away to try our food, experience everything that we have to offer here, whether it be axe throwing, live music, anything. Uh, this is a great place to work. Uh, the environment is amazing. Uh, the staff is great, the customers are great, the owners are great. I like coming into Smoke and Steel a lot, either on my lunch breaks or just uh, when I get out early and have time to stop by, have a drink, have some wings or tater tots, it's great. I would say just the idea that it's, it's different. There's a lot of the same thing that happens in the Bangor area, and uh, it's good to see a new idea, something that isn't common around here. So to see the axe throwing and another good barbecue place open up is pretty cool. I love coming to Smoke and Seal because I'm from Southern Maine and moving up to Bangor there isn't always a ton to do and it's a great atmosphere where there's live music and you can throw axes so you can spend a decent amount of time here and just really enjoy the atmosphere. Yeah, so the best thing about the food is it's always like on point. I love the barbecue aspect of it, you know, having the tater tots and the fries dusted in barbecue rub is really unique and not something you see very often. We're going to bring out some hush puppies, some burnt ends, some sliced brisket, uh, locally sourced steak. We're going to have some banana pudding, Texas sheet cake, and Aaron, for your kid, we're going to have the fried ice cream. <laughs> All right, buddy. Here we go. Don't disappoint. Ready? You're on camera. Try it. Maybe not. One bite. One bite. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Smoke and steal, everybody. My name's Ellie Beth, and I am a residential and consumer lender here at Kennebec Savings Bank. So my best friend and I moved from Portland, Oregon to Portland, Maine in mid-June, and we just felt compelled to come to Maine, and Maine life was a huge factor of that. Me working at Kennebec Savings Bank is um, all attributed to Maine life. I saw the commercials, I saw the community involvement with Kennebec Savings Bank, and Andrew, and I just knew I had to be here. In Berlin City, we make it easier to find and buy an electric vehicle. And for the first time ever, we're bringing all these options right here. Welcome to Berlin City Electric Vehicle Store pop-up. While we still sell thousands of gas vehicles per day, we now have electric options like Nissan Leaf. And we have a large selection of used Teslas. Yes, Teslas. What's that? You want less wheels? How about one? They're really quiet. And they're fast. So if you 
you're looking to try or buy an electric vehicle or a one wheel, stop by at any of our locations because life is easier at Berlin City. We're back in downtown Bangor from axe throwing to specialty cheese and wine. Where I redeemed myself from axe throwing at yes. Windsor Fair a few seasons ago. You did, good job. Thank you, you know, I hate losing. But as Deb Newman told us earlier, there are so many businesses located here in Bangor. We're about to check out two more. And our first stop, some good wine and cheese. We're here at Bangor Wine and Cheese. I'm Morgan, I've been the manager here for eight years now. It's owned locally by Eric and Christine Meehan. Um, we offer a variety of local and imported wine, beer, sake, meads, um, other aperitifs, cider. We also carry a variety of local and imported cheeses, meats. Um, we do have an olive oil and vinegar line that's imported from Italy. We do carry local chocolates from Savor Chocolatier. Um, all the good things for a delicious night at home. <laughs> we try to carry unique items, more limited releases, things that are harder to find. If you have cheeses or wines that you can't find elsewhere, we can see if we can order them for you and special order them in. This is a great example of rare wine that we can get. Um, we have a 1964, 1989, and 1992 Vouvray right now. We strive to carry a lot of local products. These two full shelves are all local main beer. Um, this one is beer from elsewhere in the United States. And then our last shelf is imports from around the world. We really like to do one-to-one -one customer service. And from the time you come in the door, if you want our help with anything, um, we'll be right there. Uh, from explaining 101 wine to beginners, to people who are looking for much, you know, more unique higher end wines for a special evening in, um, but we're here to educate anyone, no matter what questions there are, whether it be about the cheese, the olive oils, the wines, um, we like to really help people learn while they're here. We also have an olive bar. We have olives, peppers, pickles, onions, um, stuffed peppers, a variety of things to go on a nice charcuterie board. For cheese, we have everything from local cheddar to, to Leggio, Breeze, Goudas, nice imported blue cheeses. We carry Prosciutto di Parma, Serrano ham, Soprasada, carry a lovely locally smoked salmon from Nostrano, and Smith Smokehouse um, meats from Monroe, Maine. I actually was a bartender at a nightclub, and the owner, Eric, is the lead singer in a rock and roll band. And so his rock and roll band would play at the nightclub. And, you know, I would always be bartending their gigs and one night he was like, you should come work for me. <laughs> and that's that was eight years ago now and I love it here and they're great people to work for. I was born and raised in Bangor. I love it here. I love the small community. I really love this job too because almost everyone that comes in the door I have a relationship with. I know their name. I know what they're looking for and I really like that small catered feel of Bangor and how we can all help each other out downtown. We have great neighbors in Fiddlehead. There's also Utopia Novios up the hill. And it's a nice little community. So we have a great local clientele that have been customers for years, but with the pandemic, we're also seeing a lot of younger people moving from bigger cities here to Bangor and um, really picking up downtown. It's really nice to see it coming to life. We are at the Fiddlehead restaurant in Bangor, Maine. We are as much as we can farm to table and very seasonal. We change our menus often and we are Bangor's favorite. <laughs> my name is Melissa Chaikin and I am the chef and co-owner with my best friend Laura Peppard. We've been open for 12 years um, and like I said we're very lucky we have a very loyal clientele. Um, we get a lot of new people especially during the summers but during the winters Bangor supports us. We change our menus up a lot um, definitely because we're seasonal and in Maine. Um, we like to take advantage of the, the fresh produce that our farmer grows for us every summer. It works for us here. Our staff is perfect. Um, Laura is a great partner in regards to you know, the business and her opinion. Um, I need people to share stuff with and they are the best ones to share it with. So I trust their opinion. They know what customers like and don't like. They know what will work. So I really have to take their um, opinions into account. Um, Laura does it 
the same way behind the bar. You know, she likes to keep it simple, and I don't mean simple like boring. Simple as in like straightforward, same with the food. It's straightforward, we like to have the flavors speak for us. I'm showcasing the chow mein, and I'm also showcasing the lamb tamales that come with a poblano sauce, um, queso fresco, and our cayenne hot sauce that we also <laughs> grew cayenne this summer and made hot sauce out of them. Come and visit Bangor, that's where we're located. We're at 84 Hammond Street. But at the same time, check out all the other restaurants downtown. Um, there are so many of them and they are all amazing. Thank you, Mel, for a great meal and a great day here in Bangor. Yeah, we, we had a lot of good food. <laughs> we did. You know, in my position, Aaron, we get to see a lot of our clients expanding here in Bangor, and it's exciting to see uh, this place is really on the move. So yeah, a lot fun. of growth. And yeah. we just touched the surface, everybody I know, but I hope you come up and follow our itinerary and check out all the surrounding businesses. I get to be up here a lot because my in-laws are here, and I get to experience it firsthand, but we hope you do too and we can't wait to come back. Absolutely. So we're just gonna finish our meal and then head back to Portland to showcase as we wrap up the show, Carnival. The kickoff tonight is the gala in the igloo. You've not been yet. I have not, I'm yeah, looking forward to it. It was there two years ago and they're back on, so stay tuned. Welcome to Carnival, Maine. We're here for the Fire and Ice Gala in our beautiful igloo, getting things kicked off here on Thursday night. Couldn't be prouder of all the great collaborations that have gone into this in a true celebration of winter as Maine celebrates really being a state for all seasons. Our small team combined with 100 plus volunteers. We've got people like Sunny River doing the rail jam, our ice sculpturists. We now have the new addition of the snow stage kicking off with Ghost of Paul Revere, culminating with Scotty McCreary. So we've come a long way since 2020 in our inaugural year. Hi everybody, I'm Quincy Hensel with the Portland Regional Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Carnival. So we are here this evening in this big igloo, <laughs> listening to some fantastic music and honestly seeing people for the first time in a really long time. We are so excited to be a supporter of this event. There's nothing better than having a great outdoor event here in Portland, Maine in the middle of February to bring people both from far away and local people here to celebrate. We're just getting started here. We really look for this annual tradition to grow year over year, not only here in the city center of Portland, but I really think this will be a statewide celebration for many years to come. We've got something for all ages here. I mentioned, you know, the rail jam, our snow stage. So it's kind of like family programming by day, and let's have some fun adulting by evening. Our bites and brews and other things will really heat up these cold, dark winter nights. Tonight is to celebrate our beneficiary winter kids, and it really is a true celebration of the volunteers, the sponsors, our bites and brews partners that make everything you see here at Carnival Maine happen. It clearly takes a village, and this is a statewide effort. What better way to celebrate winter um, in our opinion than to support Winter Kids while you're doing it. And I will say Winter Kids is not snow dependent and neither is Carnival. So we've seen here in the last um, couple of days in preparation for the event that we get all kinds of weather here in Maine, but it's still important to get out and celebrate winter no matter what's going on. Whether you came out to Carnival Maine here in 2022 or not, I know you'll be with us in 2023. Mark your calendar for school break week, February 2023 will be bigger, better, and best. Thanks everybody for watching this episode of Maine Life. To follow our adventures, you can check us out on our website, mainlifemedia.com, at Erin Valley on Instagram, or Maine Life Media on Facebook. Thank you to New Center Maine and to all of our sponsors. Happy adventuring, and we will see you next week. Put the shovel, it digs deep. <laughs> We got a blooper reel, we got a blooper reel. <laughs> Woo! This is just practice. Unless I get a good shot. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Thank you, all right. Yeah, yes. that's better, right? Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Okay, 
one more time. What do you mean one more that time? That was really close. That was really close.